48 millimeters. That's about an inch and a half of clam, the perfect size for this experiment. I'm looking at seagrass, how it's affected by the light, the temperature, and its interaction with clams. Jessica Griffin is a San Diego State University PhD candidate studying marine ecology. Turns out clams are possible filters to clean away algae that kills seagrass, and there is seagrass all along the California coast. It stops underwater erosion, slows down destructive storm surge, and serves as a nursery for baby crabs and spiny lobsters. That's why she is conducting experiments and encouraging younger students to enter the field. As climate change becomes more severe, habitat destruction continues. Um, coastal pollution, especially in urban areas, is still a big concern. So I think that there's going to continue to be a demand. Sometimes these things come home with us, back to the lab, and we don't necessarily mean it, and we don't want them to die. Shane Jensen and Grace Luzbatak are students from Miramar College, interning here at the SDSU Coastal Marine Institute lab for the summer. They are working with Griffin and other mentors to prepare for their professional careers in saving the environment. You do everything you can to figure out what the next step is, what's the be best next step so that we can move forward in the right direction of like making our planet healthy again. It's becoming such a huge problem that future generations will be left with and we need to do our part now to stop these effects that it's having. There are only five community college students who were accepted as interns and they are doing research every day. Jensen and Luzbatak even helped harvest that valuable seagrass in the waters off Shelter Island. By next summer, there is hope that even more community college students from across San Diego County could end up using San Diego Bay for this internship program. Administrators have applied for state money in the form of something appropriately called a California Sea Grant. That would bring $75,000 to this research and opportunity to underserved students. You do literally get their hands and feet wet doing field work and doing actual science in the laboratory and getting those kind of direct real world experiences. Their love of nature and animals will help too. And he's trying to chase after me here. MG Perez, KPBS News.